when you're playing for a championship, it's always an emotional game. Um, and when, you know, we always talk about, you know, playing with fury, right? And it's kind of balancing emotion with intelligence. So you got to keep your cool, uh, even though, you know, the nerves can get at you, you got to maintain the style of play. You got to do the things that we've been doing to get us to this point. The first half was uh, pretty stressful. Uh, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot on the lines. I think we weren't really playing our style because it was so combative and it was going back and forth and there was too much transition and that's not really our style. So we lost that momentum in the first half and then we really lost it uh, when we gave up a penalty kick in the last 10 seconds. We go into the locker room and the good thing is that we've been through times like this. We've been down before and that's when this leadership group, the senior class, the belief that this team has, that is when this is so important. And so I had no doubt, like we were gonna come back in the second half and, and be ready and, and we're a resilient team. So we, I knew we weren't gonna give up. You know, when we walked into the locker room, they were already sorting out uh, what they needed to do. It was a bit quiet, but I think it's because they were focused. You know, we just let them know that, uh, you know, we, we created chances, we were in a good place. So we just needed to continue uh, what we were doing in the first half and we felt pretty confident we could get one back. When we came out, the players really took the information that we talked about at halftime and really the information wasn't super tactical. It was more of getting back to our style of play, which is keeping the ball. We are much better with the ball and we know how to score goals. We create a lot of chances. So we just really needed to get the ball back and change that momentum. And I thought we did a really good job of uh, changing that for this game. And it, that helped us build confidence throughout the second half. You know, going into overtime, they know we're fit and we're healthy. They're mentally tough. They know, they feel supported by their teammates. Everybody knows each player is gonna do their best to get their job done. And I think, you know, in an overtime, sometimes that's the, that's the margin that wins it for you. We keep creating the same chances doing what we're doing. And it's, it's great, right? We got this. Um, we really need to chew up time in these moments, knowing that we just needed to tie the last few seconds of, you know, double overtime. I mean, I, I think I wanted to pass out. I was so nervous. bit of a flashback from our North Carolina win because that win was so special because I think that win really like launched us into having a successful season. That win helped us have the confidence that we need to keep growing and keep winning throughout the season. So that North Carolina win was was so special to our season and it was just the beginning. Yeah our goal is to take every game and learn from it and then use that uh, to continue to help us keep it rolling. I think we've been saying that since the North Carolina game. It's turned into a little bit of a motto uh, for us, and the girls believe in it. And the great thing is hearing them tonight. They're saying, you know, we're not done yet. And yes, we won the, the regular season title, but that's only one goal of ours. And we have so many more goals that we want to accomplish. So 
we're definitely not done yet. I, I, I see it in their eyes that they want to keep this season going as long as possible. Senior night is always you know, a special time for the players and it adds just a, a different vibe to the game. Obviously we had a large group of seniors, 10 players that really shaped the program over their last four years and they're just unbelievable leaders and, and leading in the way that's just so in line with our philosophy here at UCF. My senior class is unbelievable. They are my first kids. I mean, you ask us why we've been successful so far this season, and it has to be because of them. Their standard, their commitment to this program. I mean, they lead with this unbelievable like unity and inspiration. They're encouraging, but they're also demanding. So I, I recruited all of them. I remember each recruiting journey with each one of them. You know, Bridget Callahan actually started I started the recruiting process with her when I was a coach of another university, and when we got the job at UCF, she changed her mind and came with us. Um, Jennifer Vera, we found at our college winter ID her senior year. What a blessing she was. Every single player, there's a story, and I'm so happy that they like trusted me and Tim to help us with their journey, and they trusted us by choosing UCF. So to watch them grow from these babies to these warriors, it's a sight to see, and uh, their mentality is unbelievable. To be able to get the result tonight and bring home the championship for those guys is just, you know, an incredible gift. It's, it's the least we can give back to them for what they've provided this program for the past four years. We're not done yet. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and the players know that. That's what this team is so great about. They can, they can get to work. They can have fun. It's like flipping a switch, and I trust it. We will get back to work on Monday and this team is so focused. I know the next step for them is uh, they're gonna be focused now on this conference tournament. It feels really good to be recognized as one of the top teams in the country and, and being number seven in the country. So this team deserves it. I mean, their, their work ethic, their unity, everything they stand for. I love having you know, UCF on the map, and I love that the players have earned that respect uh, from everybody around the country. We'll just keep this team healthy, keep them energized um, and recovered, and then we're gonna get back to work.